Hey kisses, welcome back to Nina Ready Eats. Today I have shrimp with the head on. I am so excited. No makeup, I just did a mask on my face for moisturizing. Go ahead and grab yourself something to eat and drink so we can get to chatting. Yes, quick prayer. Let's do it. I'm gonna start with the egg. Mm. Oh my God, that is so good. I'm wearing my big Dolly contact lenses. They're so cute. I'm probably gonna start wearing a different color next month. Mm. Oh my God, these are so good. I see them so good. I did mushroom soy sauce, sesame seed oil, garlic powder, a tiny bit of Montreal steak seasoning, minced garlic. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And I broiled it. I was gonna cook it outside on the barbecue grill. But I didn't want to be out there by myself. Mm. So good. One of my comments asked me, what was one of the hardest times of my life? I had a few tough things happen. Um, my first son passing away was tough. That was really tough on me. I went through like postpartum depression and all that. That is so cold and so good. That was really tough. Um, The incident from November 2015, that was tough too. The situation with my son, that's always tough. Going homeless, that sucked. I'm wondering, how many of you guys have been on my channel for years? And how many of you guys are new subscribers? Can you let me know? I'm just curious because I see a lot of familiar faces, but then I see accounts that I'm not familiar with. So I'm just curious. Mm. I like this seasoning. I should have made some noodles. That would have gone really good. I was starting to feel sick. I was getting nervous. I was like, oh my God, please don't get sick. Please don't get sick. I nipped it right in the bud. As soon as I felt myself getting sick, I made a, j a green juice. I was like, oh, no, no, no. Mm. I love peeling my shrimp. <laughs> I love doing it. Yes, to this. I have a question. How many of you guys have veneers or crowns? I just got my final um, dental implant put up here, and it's. I'm still trying to remember that I can't chew on that side because for like eight months, it just it takes forever. Eight or nine months. depending on if you got a tooth extracted or not. There's a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it again, I need to remember. 
We can chew on both sides. Mm -hmm. I remember when I used to live in Boston, I used to do a lot of uh, seafood with uh, Dungeness crabs. Oh my God. I've been to the farmer's markets twice this week, but I have not been able to find New Zealand green lip mussels. I have not been able to find them. So I'm like, dang. Mm. Some white rice would have been good too. Some people don't like the shrimp with the head on, I do. I prefer it that way. Mm, making a mess. The best way to get over difficult times, in, in my opinion, is mm, get yourself a diary and a, like tackle your issues head on. Don't run away from them. Because the faster you tackle them, the, fa the better you feel. I don't like to hold on to like past negative memories. This is not my thing. Like if I know that I'm unhappy with something, I make a conscious choice to make sure that I deal with that issue immediately or as soon as I become aware of it. Because I never used to do that. But once I started to do that, everything got better. So if you're going through a tough time Meditation, breathing exercises, writing in your diary, going to the gym, walking outside in nature. Um, a lot of people say go to like, you know, therapy and all that stuff is good too. But a lot of people say to go into like a group setting. And that does, everybody's different. That does help a lot of people. But I think like, if you isolate for just a little bit, even if it's just three days where you just take three days to just breathe and really just focus on yourself, start with something small, like 24 hours. And I mean, cut everything out, cut out social media, television, radio, cut everything out and just sit you by yourself in a room for three days with a diary. And at first you're gonna be like, oh, I don't know what to write. I don't know what I should write. I don't know this and I don't know that. But you don't need to know what you're gonna write. You just need to start writing. Whatever comes into your mind. It might be funny, good, not so great. Mm. I noticed that the people that struggle with getting a diary are the people that don't want to heal and the people that want to hold on to the toxicity because it gives them an identity or because if they find comfort and that, that's all they know, you know what I'm saying? So you have to want to make those life changes. That's something you're going to have to want for yourself. So, it's the choice you gotta make. For me, it took a long time for me to realize.
that I could even change. I was like, oh, wow. You have to let go of the old you to find the new you. And then once you find the new you and keep improving that version of yourself until you feel like, you know, and there's always going to be something you got to work on. It, it's, just, it's not going to be because there's so much to learn and so much to improve on. But then you start feeling comfortable with yourself. You start trusting yourself. You start loving yourself. And then you're like, wow, this is this is cool. I could really do this, you know? Pick what you want to do and do that. Whatever makes you happy. I mean, I'm true. I'm, I'm talking about truly makes you happy because there's so many people you ask them what makes you happy and they don't know the answer to it. Mm. I want to run a social experiment and just ask people, random people, what makes you happy? I wonder what they're going to say. Ask them two questions. Are you happy? Mm. They're going to say yes or no. Right? And then ask them, what would make you happy? Or what is it that's making you happy? Or keeps you happy, you know? If you can give anybody in the world one piece of advice, what would that be? If you could tell them one thing that would change their life or that would inspire them or that would teach them something, what would that one thing be? That's a deep question. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is a really good question. Look at that. So big. Damn. That's a good question right there. I like that. Cause I got so much I gotta say. <laughs> I got so much I gotta say. When it comes to that. Sometimes I feel like I should have been a chef or a teacher or a photographer. Damn, I'm the skin is stuck on this one. For sure. I would say something like, honestly, everything you already want to be and need to be is inside of you. You have to harness the best parts of yourself to achieve that. Yeah. Definitely.
Mm. I would say love yourself first. Love yourself first. That would be a big one. I think that's what I would say. Love yourself first. And I'm not saying be selfish. I'm saying love yourself first. Because if you don't love yourself first, first of all, you're not even going to know what love is. So you'll put up with all kind of nonsense. When you don't love yourself, You learn a lot of tough lessons the hard way. You want 100%? Absolutely. That's what I would say. Love yourself first. Excuse me. For sure. Yep. Season this. Mm. I was waiting for this shrimp all day. sauce all over my face. <laughs> I'm in a stage in my life where I just don't feed any negativity. And it's relaxing. <laughs> I don't feed anything negative. It's exhausting. People think it'll be t it don't take no energy. It take a lot of energy to feed negativity. Trust me. A lot. It's exhausting. Don't feed anything negative. And some people love that. They seek it. They gravitate to it. They look for it. They cause it. At whatever cost. They just like to cause um, confusion. They love confusion. Now, when you're thinking clearly, you avoid confusion at all costs. Mm-mm. No confusion allowed. None. Mm-hmm. Why is this being so sloppy today? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<clears throat> then this is gonna be my last one. And with that, I might make some shrimp fried rice. This is so good. I love a home cooked meal. It's everything. Stay positive and stay strong. Eat some good food. Please have a peace of mind. Don't go to bed angry. Don't wake up angry. Try to work out all of your emotional and stressed issues. Use a diary, trust me, use a diary. I'm getting asked a lot of questions and I'm always gonna go back to the same thing. I'm gonna sound like a broken record. Meditation, write your thoughts down, write your feelings down, tune in with yourself, check in with yourself, ask yourself how you're doing and make sure that you put yourself first. Self-development is key. Do audio books, do a lot of reading, look inward, look inward. Everything you have is already inside of you. Until next time, bye guys.